Welcome to College Admissions Toolbox, giving you the edge you need to get into the colleges of your dreams with your host, Steve Schwartz. That's me. I wanted to talk with you guys about developing your college essay story because setting yourself apart in your college essay is more important than ever. A lot of top colleges are decreasing the percentage of students they're accepting each year. Stanford's only accepting about 5% of the students who apply. So if you want to get that competitive edge in admissions, it's probably going to come down to writing an effective college essay. And if you can set yourself apart from the rest of the applicants, you're going to significantly increase your chances of getting accepted. Now, I want to give you a loose template for how to write essays. Of course, every essay is going to have to be different and unique to the person applying, so it's not enough to give you a template just for how to write them. It's important to help you develop a consistent story that covers every part of your application. It doesn't matter whether you're talking about your challenges at school, your volunteer or internship experience, your defining unique characteristics, whatever those might be, or your future plans. Whatever you're talking about, each example you use is going to have to support a central theme, and you can use the entire application process as a tool to strengthen your argument. What I mean is, when you start to structure your college essays, you got to think about how they're going to tie into the rest of your application. I suggest that you use each of your college essays to communicate something unique about yourself. If you can, get your recommenders to write letters that focus on something different about you, and then you can even use the interview to highlight something completely separate about yourself. This is how you'll show admission officers a full picture of who you really are. So, how do you develop your college essay story? James A student I helped last year who's now a freshman at Yale had this advice to share, and I quote, I never felt like I was following a path, but when I started looking at my accomplishments while trying to finish my college essays, I realized that I had learned skills each year in high school that helped me at my next step. Realizing this helped me to develop a story. So when you look at the choices you've made up to this point, Look at why you made certain decisions and changes. This matters a lot more than the order in which they happened. Then, connect these decisions to your future goals. And if you want to stand out, remember that you've got to be creative in some way. I don't have to tell you that admission officers looking at thousands of essays. If you want to make sure they remember yours, make sure you put a new spin on it. Essays are like commercials. People remember really unique ones, good or bad. The key is to make yours different and to make it memorable. But don't worry if you're having trouble settling on a single story and don't feel that you have to plan the rest of your life as you write your college essays. Another student I worked with, Nathan, had trouble figuring out his story at first, but he ended up getting into both Stanford and Cornell. And I quote, While I believed strongly in my story at the time I was applying, it's very possible that your story may change after you get to school. Mine's changed a couple of times. Just be open to that because there will be opportunities at school that you had never even considered before. In my premium college essay course, one of the things I focus on is helping you figure out your college essay topic. I help you develop an effective college essay story that will make you stand out. In the course, I personally advise you as to what you should do, especially if you have a unique situation. You can get help with developing your college essay story by signing up for my premium college essay course at collegeadmissionstoolbox.com slash essay course. Now, I've got an action step for you to complete associated with this lesson. Write down a list of your unique characteristics. Think about your passions, your character, and your personality traits, not just your accomplishments. The admissions officers can already see your transcript, your test scores, and your list of extracurriculars. Things you might want to include are your persistence, your creativity, your relationship with your family, love of tuba playing, 
or football or figure painting or whatever you like to do. Just map out a plan for making your college essays a part of a bigger whole. They're just one piece of the application. So think about which characteristics you want admission officers to learn about you from your college essays and which ones you want to show them in your letters of rec and your interview. Taking the time to plan your application's central story is the best way to show them a full picture of who you really are. Seriously, take at least an hour or two to really think about this and then write down your plan. Then, if you want, copy-paste it and email me at steve at collegeadmissionstoolbox.com and send it to me. That's how I'll know if you actually did it. Even though I can't respond to all the emails I get, I do read every single one, and I'm really excited to see what you come up with. Thanks for listening to College Admissions Toolbox. Head over to www.collegeadmissionstoolbox.com to get more free tools and resources that will help you get into the colleges of your dreams.